Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you are used to an older way of bypassing the lock screen in earlier versions of Windows where you didn't have to enter back in your password every time your computer restarts. You had the option to turn off the need for passwords to be entered onto your computer in order to sign in. However, this option is missing in newer versions of Windows 10. I'm going to show you guys where it went, and it did change the wording of it a bit over time, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Select the Setting Gear icon on the left side, hover over it, it says Settings, so go ahead and left click on that. Select the Accounts tile, just left click on that. Sign in options on the left side. And now directing our attention over to the right underneath require Windows Hello sign in for Microsoft accounts. So if you're using a Microsoft account to sign in like most of you guys probably are, there's probably an option underneath these manage sign in options that would say make your device passwordless. For improved security, only allow Windows Hello sign in for Microsoft accounts on this device. So you can go ahead and just toggle that to the off position you want to just turn that off. So that will go back to the traditional username and password requirement. However, if you don't see that option or maybe you're using a local Windows account, if you close out of there, we can open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, check go back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you would easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the File tab and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all. And then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And then once you're done with that, you should select Save. And if you ever need to import from the backup, or I guess undo what we did, you could select the file and then import and navigate to the registry file location. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. So double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to locate Windows NT. So scroll down a bit. And double click on it. Uh, the current version, double click on that, should be a password list um, folder. So just go down a little bit, right here. And now on the right side, and now you want to double click on password list. It should be a device folder, just left click on that. And now on the right panel here, there might be something that says device password list build version. If you don't see that in here, you're just going to want to go create it. So I will have this D word value in the description of my video, guys. So you can just copy that. So you just would right click in a blank area, new D word 32 bit value, and then you just would paste it in. What's in the description of my video, just copy and then paste it in. I already have one, so um appears it's actually letting me do a second value in there. We're just going to delete it. But you can see we already have one in here, so in which case you don't have to do anything. And you just would go double click on it. And when I said don't do anything, I mean you don't have to create that D word value. You still have to change the value from a 2. You want to delete the 2, type the 0. So if you had a 1 or 2 in there, deleted, type the number 0. Base, hexadecimal, decimal, I don't think it matters. You know, if it's 0, go ahead and select OK. Once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully that should be about it, guys. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.